back with another very interesting video on this channel. I literally just came across this video right here on my recommended page. And I just had to check it out because the title caught me off guard. CJ so cool. I've cheated on royalty before, but I'm not a cheater. Huh? The fuck does that mean? What are you talking about, my boy? I really don't understand. So we're about to hop into this video. Everybody knows that my son is down bad, okay? Royalty literally left, took all the kids left the crib he's by himself look it is what it is you reap what you sow but we're about to hop into it if you guys are new to the channel make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe okay and we're about to find out why this man says he could cheat and not be called a cheater let's get it man <laughs> i don't understand this shit but now you know me searching your name on youtube um there's always different people. Your name's in headlines a lot about cheating. Yeah. Um, a a lot of that is, is hearsay, but a lot of that people come up with results and screenshots. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? Because you are a family man, but then there are outsiders who like to point, like who like to paint this picture that you are, you know, you like to be in, in DMs and, you know, mess around on your girl. What I got to say about that is, and this is, I'm going to speak on YouTube first and I'm going to speak on the world as, in general. When you have a YouTube family channel or a YouTube relationship channel, I don't want anyone from this day forward to think that just because you see it so perfectly, that that's what it really is behind the scenes. A video is just that. It's chopped and edited. It's what we want you to see. That's a fact, though. In real life, it's a lot different. I'm not saying we're arguing and we're going through, but I am saying that, yeah, sometimes I make mistakes. Players mess up. I mean, what can I say? I have cheated and I've gotten caught. I'm not good at cheating because I don't do it. When I finally decided to cheat on my girl, I got freaking blasted. So that was in 2019, I believe, the last time I actually cheated and got caught. And I know I did it. And I, I haven't done it anymore. So the Young Blue Party, we went to Blue's party. Me and uh, we, it's Kevo took me there. It's all Kevo fault. Everybody that's looking at me and they saying I'm, yeah. I'm on it. Blame Kevo, okay? He giving me knowledge on money, but he's also bringing me around these people that want to cloud chase. So the more recent stuff, because like I said, I'm already owning up to my mistakes. I cheated on my girl. But I mean, my girl the, knows me in real life. At, at the same time, it's like, at the same time, it's like, you can't blame another man. Like, I wouldn't say blame Kevo. It's not really his fault. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way you move around these certain people. I mean, he probably just didn't move the right way, especially in that particular situation. He just didn't make the right decisions in that particular situation. That's why he looks and is painted to be the bad guy in the situation. Let's continue. So she's not a commenter or a fan looking in from the outside going, hey, man, why you cheating, man? She know me. We've done things together and she know all me. So really, in real life, have I really cheated on my girl? No, because everything that's happened, my girl knew about it. It's just when the blogs get it, my girl, she gets way, way more hurt about it because now everyone's looking at her like this. So am I a cheater? No. But is everything in my relationship perfect? Hell no. Nowhere near. I'm raising three kids that ain't mine. Sometimes I really wake up and I go, Damn. I need a better situation. I'm just being honest. I mean, that has nothing to do with you two. Damn, that's just, tough. Sometimes that's how it is. You know, as a real human being, I look at myself sometimes and I go, why are you simping? Why? Like, I mean, why? There's no need. My only reason for it all is because the way we came into the situation together. We both started at ground zero and we elevated here. So that's the only reason I haven't left I respect her. That. If I would have left her, I wouldn't be considered a cheater because I would have left her. But then if I leave her, I'm considered the dog who took advantage of royalty and her kids. So now I'm in a situation based off the fans. So that's what ha that's why your life gets messed up. You're living your life for other people. Now I'm living my life for me. Royalty's cool with it. Royalty knew about the party. She seen everything that was going on. She really didn't care until the blogs got it. When the blogs got it, I had to make a post saying I got dumped. She unfollowed me. She took me out of her bio. I was really affected by it. I'm like, okay. You really know me and you're still going to do this for the internet. So I did it for the internet and then I made it bigger than what it should have been. But hey, that's life. Now going into the whole world, don't you kids or you adults or you teenagers look at me and say, no, nah, my family is perfect. You're lying. Don't lie to yourself. No one is perfect. God didn't make us that way. We all make mistakes. Females do, men do. All I got to say is royalty's never cheated on me. Thank God. 
But I've cheated on my girl. Yeah, I've done that. But that's because of the situation I'm in. I'm freaking rich as heck. Sometimes I'm outside and I see something I want. That's just how it is. But that's why I don't go nowhere. She got such a tight leash on me, man. If I even told you some of the things, you would be like, what? For instance, the reason why one of the blog, one of the blogs just posted something about some rapper chick feeling all on me. And it got the DMs in it, like you just said, right? Royalty's DMing her on my behalf for my page because she has my password, my login on her phone. So I'm in Atlanta and she's in Vegas, but she's seeing everything I'm doing. Most men ain't gonna tell you that because they ain't giving that girl nothing. My girl got <laughs> my password to my phone. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. My shorty got the password to my phone, but she does not have the password to my Instagram, my Snapchat. My Facebook. What does she need all that for? She definitely does not lead, need to log into all that stuff, bro. Because then what girls are going to do is, and this is the reason why I really don't do relationships most of the time, is because it's like once you enter in, into a relationship, it's like people feel like a whole new level of entitlement. So it's like, oh, why don't you want to give me your password? I'm your girlfriend. It's like, ma, you don't need my password to be my girlfriend. Like, you don't need to be looking through my Instagram DMs to be my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? You weren't doing that four months ago when we were talking. You shouldn't be doing that now. That's the only reason why I don't give my girl, like, my social media accounts stuff like that. She could look through my phone. Like, if my phone is open, I don't care. Like, you could look through my DMs and nothing in there. But at the same time, it's like, you don't need that shit. Because then it leads to stuff like this. That shit is toxic, in my opinion. But he did get caught cheating. You know what I mean? So, if she felt like, if, or if they felt like that was a necessary step moving forward to make her feel comfortable, then I guess it should have been done. But... Just on my behalf, I can't do that, bro. It makes me feel weird. She got five phones with my iCloud in it. She got my Instagram, all of my dog's Instagram. She has everything. So if it was really that detrimental, she would have already left. She would have already blasted me. And she would have been in the blogs. She sees everything I do. And I don't even think that's fair on my behalf because I'm, like I said, I'm Michael Jordan on the team. You Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen, we all know he was getting paid. While Michael was getting 33, Scotty was living off that same first year contract. So it's like, how am I getting treated like a kid? That's what I specifically said to one of the girls in the DM. How am I getting treated like the kid when I'm the freaking boss? Mm -hmm. So if, if most of these men was going through what I'm going through, they would be eager to cheat. If your girl was going through your every DMs, through your every text message, my girl will text me the stuff I'm saying as I'm saying it. You know how that <laughs> makes me feel? I mean, I really be feeling like a kid sometimes. Like, damn, man, my mom caught me. I shouldn't feel like that. And you know what that does, Kevo told me? It lowers my energy, which lowers my stock. Everything has something to do with your energy. It can lower your stock or raise your stock, which is why when I'm hanging around high energy people, I'm climbing more. And more people are going to talk trash, but that's just more money in the bag. That's a fact. So that's a fact. I can only imagine the temptation you go through. I know so many a major models fact. and right. artists and people with, with with status, they be in your DMs trying to fuck with you. And as a human, like you said, sometimes you are going to, you know, you uh, slip up. debate. Yeah. You know, when you were all over the blogs this week, you know, from Say Cheese to the Shade Room and, you know, what, what was the feedback like? From royalty or the fans? The fans. I'm going to tell you like this. The fans are more interested in drama than they are in entertainment that I'm providing for them on the daily for free. Once the drama headlines kick in, all my stock rises. So I'm, not, I'm never going to put myself in drama on purpose, but it's funny how that works. So my feedback that I'm getting is free exposure. I mean, literally, the shade room, they charge people to post them, right? They didn't ask for my permission. They just took it and ran with it. That's free promo. Some people are going to hate on me, but some people are going to look at me and say, he wasn't doing nothing. Like, I really wasn't doing anything. How am I standing at a party and I get accused of cheating? It's a party. It's not a sex fest. No one was doing anything inappropriate. It's a sex I mean, fest. the girls that came and started dancing, we standing there, right? This is, this is how they catch you. They don't record the beginning. They record the end. We're just standing there chilling, doing us, letting the sun shine on these diamonds. And these girls came out of nowhere, started dancing, you know, they twerking. And I'm like, excuse me, we standing here. The girl literally waves me off while her friend's still recording. Now that makes it to the blogs. She's just a cool whispers in girl ear. Yeah, I'm telling her to get the fuck out of my way. She and them taking all the damn attention. Now they went from looking at my diamonds to looking at her shake her ass. <laughs> I don't even know her. 
<laughs> now it, it, it just gets blown out of proportion. So a lot of things you guys hear and see, you shouldn't really run with it because it's not always true. My boy like needs I, that attention. He said, yo, give me, don't give her attention. Give my diamonds attention. My boy needs that attention. That's In 2019, funny. yeah, I messed up. But the party? Standing at a party? Come on, man. That's crazy, bro. That's really interesting. I guess I guess he low key even broke it down a little bit more than what we've already known, honestly speaking, because we already know that he got caught up at that party and whatnot, but we didn't know the extent to which he was being affected and how like royalty perceived it. I didn't know about the whole 19, 2019 cheating scandal either, but we now know. But look, man, that's gonna be the end of this video right here, man. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.